Should anybody begin to chat, I should be able to see ya, and, uh... Yeah, we're ready to begin. Seeing if Lucio's gonna join us at some point, he may or he may not. He, uh, has a baby due very soon. <laughs> So, this is very understandably not his top priority. I, uh, I don't take that too hard. He may stop by, he may not. If you're watching the recording later, the archive, is that what the kids call it? An archive? Then hi, Luce. How's it going, man? So, those who are tuning in, now or later, uh, what is it you just tuned in to? Well, um, Marie Kondo... Let's start with Marie Kondo. Uh, wrote a book called uh, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. She had a show. Um, she was widely sort of misunderstood, misquoted. People, there, was, there, there were memes where she was saying, you know, people said she said, you get rid of all your books. And, you know, side note, the, the discourse TM around her was pretty bad. It was, it was a prime example to me of people having feelings about a book they didn't read, a show they didn't watch. Like, if you read the book and you don't like it, that's fine. Even if you read a think piece about the book and, and you have feelings about that, that's reasonably fine. I mean, like, you know, you don't have time to read everything. Things I only half care about. I get my information about from think pieces sometimes. Though, you know, you could make the argument that if you don't care about it enough to read it, maybe you don't care enough about it to get mad about it. But anyway, this wasn't either of those things. This was just like people sort of reading a headline or a, or a tweet or something and getting mad, right? So people ascribe to her a lot of things she didn't say. What she does actually do in the book and on the show is lay out some pretty sensible rules for getting rid of stuff that it's not doing you any good to have. So the sort of the, the, the what my mom can't stand about her <laughs> is that she says, you have to ask of each thing you own, like, does it spark joy? But what's useful about that is like, it's just, it's an organized way of saying, does each individual object I own actually make my life better by me owning it, right? Like the spark joy thing obviously doesn't work for everything in the real world because some things are utilitarian. Whether or not your blender sparks joy, you still may want to make smoothies sometimes. I mean, arguably the smoothies are joyful, right? But like some things just matter. Virtual possessions can't matter in quite the same way. <laughs> um, so I've started thinking a lot about applying the same technique to my digital inventories that are just sort of sitting there. Um, and Destiny 2 jumped out at one, as one, I should say, that really made sense. Destiny 2 has some unique properties, which I'll outline in a moment, that make it ripe for this kind of exercise. But before we do that, why was I talking about Marie Kondo and what exactly does the book actually say, right? What the book says is you get out all of, all of the things you own in a certain category, you know, all your clothes, all your papers, whatever. You look at each thing individually, you reflect on what it means to you. If you weren't even aware you had it or it doesn't mean much to you, then get rid of it. <laughs> that was easy. If it does mean something to you, then you're not sort of honoring it by just keeping it around and not thinking about it, keeping it in a drawer. So maybe you reflect on it, you say goodbye, and you move on. So my Destiny 2 inventory is highly, highly rife for that kind of exercise for a couple of reasons. For one thing, when you get rid of something in Destiny, it really is gone. Like, you really are moving on. This really is a ritual that makes this thing no longer be. Let me actually, let me sit down and have, have some coffee with you while we talk. There we go. So when something is gone in Destiny, it's, it's gone, baby, gone. And sort of the, there comes a point where if you want to get rid of something, all you can do with it is, is make it disappear. <laughs> get some in-game currency for it take it apart for parts, whatever, but the parts aren't even sort of specific or interesting in the way they are in a lot of games. Uh, you also can't give possessions to people in Destiny, so it's not as though I could give this stuff to anybody other than my other characters, which I haven't really been playing as. Um, oh man, we're going to have some class-specific gear that I'm going to have a heartbreaking time with. But anyway, um, I, I still play Destiny, because Lucio still plays Destiny mostly, but I don't play it that much. So the fact that you can't really give stuff away... The fact that when stuff's gone, it's really gone. The fact that uh, this stuff is not bringing me joy. Uh, and the fact that my bank right here, my vault, is completely full. 500 out of 500. Uh, got me thinking about how it might actually bring me more joy and sort of make for a fun exercise. If I were to log in 
and go through the uh, the KonMari, the Marie Kondo process with all of this stuff that I've been accumulating in Destiny. It actually will make my life better when I play, just to clear this out, because I won't constantly have to, you know, deal with full slots. Like, you can't hold any more ships to find a place for one. Oh, there's no place for one. It'll actually, you know, like, it'll be an improvement in that specific way. But I also think it will be oddly satisfying to do, and I think it might be oddly satisfying to watch. So that's why we're doing this. Um, I mentioned the, 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 what was it, 13 books or something? The meme about, you know, Marie Kondo says you should have no more than X books. It's not really what she says, right? She comes up with some number of books that she thinks is right for her. She thinks maybe if there is something you want to keep, you give yourself a number. We may end up doing that with exotics. I don't know about exotics. We'll get to exotics in a sec. Um, and I, by the way, will explain what an exotic is for anybody who's more tuned in because they like tidying than because they like destiny. But uh, yeah, I may pick numbers for certain things. I think some of these are actually going to be really easy. So those are the ground rules. We're going to be tidying the entire bank, the entire vault. I keep calling it a bank. The entire vault, as well as everything I have on my person. And again, to sort of talk about... These, these are all grayed out because I literally cannot store one more thing. I cannot select any one of these and put them in my vault because my vault is full. Um, we're going to go through every category of thing. Uh, and again, just, just to sort of dispel any misunderstandings about what this process means, tidying doesn't necessarily mean you get rid of every single thing. I'm not going to get rid of stuff that I plan to use if and when I play Destiny in the future. I'm not going to get rid of stuff that sparks joy in some other undetermined way. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of literally everything else. Um, and, and seeing what I hesitate about is actually going to be a little interesting. I, I am a digital hoarder by nature. Um, and I sort of like the idea of being able to go back to my digital inventories and RPGs I've played and stuff like that, even though I, vir I virtually ha -ha, never do it. Destiny's an odd case because I do log in sometimes, so I can't just... Like, they update it. It's an ongoing game. It's an eternal game. It's a deathless game. It's an undying game. Uh, so there always is more stuff to accumulate, and that full bank really does do me, do me psychological harm. Um, so that confluence of circumstances, the way loot works in Destiny, the way I relate to the game of Destiny, uh, made this make sense. So without further ado, let's dive in. Um, so... I think the first thing we're going to do is look at legendary weapons. So again, for those of you who are not super familiar with Destiny, Destiny is a uh, an online game, and sort of an MMO if you've heard that term, a massively multiplayer online game. It doesn't behave quite the way some MMOs, the, the canonical ones like World of Warcraft, uh, do. Works a little differently than those, but... Um, it's similar in that you share an online world, <laughs> very broadly, with other people, and you collect stuff, and your goal is to render all of your current favorite possessions garbage by finding better ones, to a certain degree. Um, it's, it's about the constant accumulation of loot, it's about repeating activities uh, in order to acquire said loot, and just for general enjoyment. Uh, so in such games, loot tends to come into tiers. Uh, I don't know if we're going to run into anything lower tier. I don't know if I kept any of that stuff, but there are sort of gray common things. There are green uncommon things. There are blue rare things, though rare things are actually quite common. Welcome to the jungle. Um, and then there are purple things, which are legendary. Uh, so most of the stuff that I have is legendary. It's sort of like the second highest tier of loot. Destiny has this higher tier called exotic. That's what these yellow things are. Um, exotic weapons and armor tend to have really special properties and you can only have one equipped at a time one weapon one piece of armor um so getting rid of exotics both for that reason their, their sheer rarity and specialness and also some mechanical stuff we'll talk about in a bit might be hard and we're going to save that for last we're going to start with all of my legendaries all my purples and we're going to go through this a category at a time i think we'll start with weapons and then move on to armor all right so i said without further ado and that was like a minute and a half ago so Clearly, I don't know what a do means. Uh, by the way, I'm playing with a gamepad to make the kind of cursor motions a little bit more slow and meditative. I tend to go through menus quickly, so this slows me down ever so slightly. All right, first thing, the forward path. This is an auto rifle, and I have absolutely no memory of it or attachment to it whatsoever, so goodbye. The steady hand. That sure sounds like something cool. But uh, I forgot I had this till right now, so no. The Time Worn Spire. The Time Worn Spire. It's a cool name. So we're going to go into the details of some of these to take a look at them. 
Uh, weapons and so okay. Something else about Destiny Two that made me sort of less attached to this loot than I used to be. In the first Destiny, Destiny Two, as the name implies, is the sequel to Destiny One. Destiny One had this thing where um, guns had random properties when you got them, when you rolled them, and you when you were, when you acquired a gun, you hadn't really acquired the gun, <laughs> you but uh, necessarily because you would need to keep reacquiring it until you got the rolls you wanted. Ideally, the sought after god rolls. So these perks right here are an example of uh, 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 of what you're looking for. So Zen Moment is one of these abilities, uh, you know, causing damage with this weapon, increases its stability, that kind of thing. Uh, some of these are sort of objectively better than others, and which ones are better than others can change a bit over time. Destiny 2 at launch did not have these perks. A gun kind of was what it was. Um, that, in addition to the fact that you could sort of just climb the power ladder very quickly, got Destiny 2 a reputation as a dad MMO, as in, an, you know, an, uh, an MMO that a dad had time to play. Uh, and I really liked that stuff, and Lucia really liked that stuff, uh, those those features of it, because he is a dad. Uh, other people hated that stuff. Um, so you're going to see some weapons here actually don't have those perks, because I got them before those perks existed. Um, so anything that doesn't have them, is pr or, or that only has two rather than three, is probably functionally functionally useless to me and should not be kept unless it makes me deeply happy to keep it. All of that to say, goodbye, Time War Inspire. All right, I don't even know how to pronounce this one. Athel Athelflad? Athelflad. Athelflad D. Yeah, I don't care. Antiope D. Now, this is a submachine gun I used for a long time. It is a uh, masterworked weapon, uh, meaning I, I upgraded it a bunch. And I think that also means it'll keep track of how many... Uh, how many enemies I killed with it. 265 is not that many in Destiny terms. But I do actually have, like, fond memories with this stupid in-game weapon. Um, am I actually going to use it? I don't know, but it did spark a little joy, so we'll, we'll put that in the maybe pile for the moment. It's the first thing we've kept. Uh, this pulse rifle, no. Notice I'm getting all these materials. Uh, oh, this thing. I used this gun. <laughs> I was going to say I used this gun for a while. Apparently I defeated one enemy with it since making it a masterwork. Uh, and the paint job's ugly. You know what? The hell with it. I'm getting rid of it. Now you'll notice I'm getting those enhancement core things as well as mod components there on the right of the screen. Uh, some of these are actually useful. You know, I can use these to upgrade gear that I actually care about um, rather than just having this stuff sit here. So Hawthorne's Fieldforged Shotgun. This is a really lovely shotgun in this game. Uh, it looks like this predates some of the randomness. <sighs> we'll come back to you. Better Devils. This is a thing I used a lot. It's not masterwork, so we can't see exactly how much. But you will hang on to. Does not compute. Don't care. True Prophecy. Oh, this was... So some of this stuff comes from timed events in the game. Uh, this was sort of a faction weapon. These are some things that I'm I'm going to find a little insidious. It's going to be hard to get rid of these because you can, in theory, never get them back again. Um, do I care? I don't know, but maybe they're a different category of thing. They're not just your common legendary weapon. So we'll hang on to that for the moment. Uh, Enigma's Draw, don't know what that is, don't care. Um... I don't think any of these things are like... I don't think I'm horrifying anyone who's serious about Destiny right now because I don't think like the meta comes back around for this stuff. I think they pretty much keep new things coming. Um, hey, I just... Uh, hey, Lucio's in the chat. Sorry I didn't see you sooner. All right, he's going to watch till food gets here. That's lovely. The food is here. So he's not hearing me say this. Uh, I'll respond to him real quick just so he knows he's loved. Okay, he's loved. I'm going to keep more of an eye on the chat. Have you noticed I'm new to streaming? <laughs> I, I am not I am not giving this the attention it deserves. Hang on, give me one second. I'll just move my screen over. I don't want to be the one who tells the executive about this. Can you hear the crickets, chat? Can you hear the crickets sing? All right, I'm moving the coffee table. Sorry if this is loud. Okay. Here we go. Alright, the origin story. This uh, is so-called because it's, I think, the first legendary you get, or one of the first. Uh, it's not reason enough to keep it, though. 
Nightshade. Yeah, no, I don't care. Nameless Midnight. Now this, this is a gun, as you can see, that I used a lot. I killed 1,208 uh, gentlemen with this thing. Oh, this, the mouse is over here. That's why it keeps doing that. Sorry about those jitters. Um, yeah, it's some good times with this gun. You shoot, you shoot space dudes with it and they explode and that's nice. Uh, that could be a sentimental keep. Maybe I'm going to decide I'm going to keep two rows of, of uh, legendaries for that reason. Maybe, maybe that's where we're starting. How many is two rows? Yeah, I mean, that could be a reasonable number. Anyway, this thing doesn't matter. Get rid of that. The Perfect Paradox. Good name, don't care. I can't get rid of it. So some of these things I may have locked. Meaning I wanted to stop myself from accidentally getting rid of them. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, there's, there's, there's not no people watching. <laughs> um... There, I, I imagine the real juice here is in the archive, but uh, yeah, Ian says uh, he's, he's been to friends' gigs with less attendance, so this is going well. Um, yeah, I didn't publicize this a whole lot, um, so I didn't expect it to be super well attended. It was more an, an entrance into the world of streaming, and it's, I mean, this is like a niche within a niche within a niche. Like, people who have some sort of com <laughs> compulsive collection disorder, uh, and or really like Marie Kondo, and or really like Destiny, I'm, I'm carving myself... A niche of niches. Anyway, the perfect paradox I apparently thought was important at the time, but I no longer feel that way. Goodbye. Alright. This old SMG. Nope. This other SMG. I had a lot of SMGs. Did SMGs used to be better in this game? Because I, I feel like they're not very good now. The Autumn Wind. It's a cool name. Alright, Crucible Colors. Um, notice that with, so I, I explained that these have, like, perks on them, but sometimes you can, like, pick which ones you are active at a given time. For anybody watching who doesn't know what I'm scrolling through here, the ones highlighted in blue are the ones that are actually active, and, uh, the other ones are ones I could use. All of which to say, goodbye, Autumn Wind. Goodbye, other Autumn Wind. Uh, so the Huckleberry and the Suros Regime are exotics. We will come back to those. The, fr the Frigid Jackal. <laughs> is a good name for a wintersome pub in a D&D &D campaign. It's a sniper rifle with some cool stuff on it. I'll go in the maybe pile. Hazard of the Cast. This is an auto rifle. Meant to look kind of old-timey. It's a it's a gambit weapon. Uh, it's a... It's a I'm not going to explain what Gambit is. Gambit is one of the modes in the game, and there are certain things you can only get from it. This is one of those things. Um, we'll hang on to you for now. The Dreaded Venture. Similar deal? It does look kind of old-timey. The fact that I'm not remembering, though, really makes me think I probably don't need this in my life. And you know what? I don't need Hazard of the Cast, either. Tiger Spite. Tiger Spite. Cool looking. So this comes from the Dreaming City, uh, which is one of the locations in the game. One of my favorites, just kind of aesthetically. Got like light Bloodborne vibes. There are no deep mysteries, a la Bloodborne. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but uh, you know, it's got a cool tone to it and its stuff looks cool. It's draped in gold and silver and blue. Um, but that said, these are pretty easy to come by. I don't really need this. You'll notice as well a lot of these have a power level that's pretty low. Uh, my power level is not quite at the max. I think 750 is as high as it goes right now. Um, you can you can upgrade stuff, but it costs materials to do so. So again, unless I'm actually going to use this stuff, it makes more sense to get materials from them than to spend materials on them to make them useful. Is this another tiger spite, or did I not get rid of the previous one? Either way, this is gone. You might be hearing Bowie right now, who has just joined the fun. Want to come hang out, little dude? Bowie's a dog, for those who haven't heard him bark on the podcast. No? He's a little freaked out by this whole setup. Taking a sip of gin. Okay. Uh, trackless Waste. The Trackless Waste. I don't care. I can't even muster a story about either of these two Trackless Wastes. 
I put a mod in them, in one of those. So, so you'll something else again for people who are not super Destiny people. You can add stuff uh, to weapons to make them do better on minor enemies or major enemies. Uh, make them, you know, faster, stronger, better. You know, our work is never over. Um, so I will sometimes get stuff back. <laughs> and trackless waste is very fitting for this stream, says Lucio, and he's damn right. Um, also, so is no turning back because we've begun this. So I'm going to thank no turning back for uh, for giving me that line, and I'm going to move on with my life. Ten paces. Man. This is kind of an eerie feeling, to be honest, because like I feel like I had feelings about this item at some point, and I'm struggling to remember what those feelings were. Uh, gaze upon my inventory, you mighty in despair, says Ian. Yes, indeed, indeed. Uh, okay, 10 paces is gone. So is this other 10 paces. <laughs> if I have multiple of the gun, and I... Okay, we're speaking of multiple of the gun. Okay, so this is a gun called Go Figure. Um, it... I was gonna say is, but maybe just was. Uh, one of the better guns in the game. Um... I already have one in, on my person at this time that is not quite as up-to-date... Uh, some of my gear in terms of, uh, of, of power level, of light level. Uh, but it is already masterworked. It's got Outlaw and Kill Clip, which are two of the better uh, perks that it can have. Um, Outlaw means that precision kills make it reload super fast. Uh, precision kills being, you know, you shoot a, a thing with a squishy head in the head, or you shoot a robot and it's robo-tummy. Um, and then Kill Clip means reloading after a kill grants increased damage. So I reload super quick, and then right after doing so, I do more damage. It's, it's really nice. All of which is to say, um, I was paranoid about keeping all of my other rolls for this gun, um, but I don't know that I need it, because as Lucio just pointed out, uh, I, I have the god roll, so I don't need any of these other ones. Um, I don't even need to thank them, because they're garbage. They're garbage, they are detritus of the algorithm. Um, I, uh, I, I will be happier when I have unburdened myself of them. Lucio has a go figure that might even be... Uh, might even be... I mean, you're saying it's not as good. Your go figure's pretty good. I've seen it perform. I mean, you're also better at this game than me, so if I'm performing as well as you are, maybe my gun is vastly better. Haha. <laughs> um, the Ace of Spades. Uh, <laughs> I usually, we usually say it like it's the uh, like it's the song, but uh, that might be loud, and I'm still <laughs> trying not to blow out this mic. We will come back to exotics, as mentioned earlier. This is another Nameless Midnight. I don't remember if I kept the first Nameless Midnight, which is a bad sign. In any case, this is the one I masterworked. Um, but this one's newer. This one has the three perks. This has triple tap as well as explosive payload and precision frame. Um, the, okay, well, <laughs> so this one's newer, but I didn't masterwork it. This one's older, so it doesn't have the full loot thing. So I probably just don't need either. Uh, I'm gonna unlock this, get some masterwork cores. Oh man, there's another... Nameless Midnight here. Hmm. Nameless is Midnight. You're gone. Toil and Trouble. A shotgun that I heard was good that I'm not sure I ever used. All these, uh, all these Hake guns always look kind of borderlandsy to me. Not that that's a good or bad thing, it's just, it's odd for Destiny a little bit. Uh, now nah, they're gone. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Right? Are we getting a, a person on in-game chat, or am I, uh, am I high on drugs? I turned on in-game chat in case Lucio showed up in-game. Nope, I was probably just hearing NPC chatter. Okay. Alrighty. Moving on. Long Shadow. Long Shadow, Long Shadow. Ah, uh, no. Goodbye. Better Devils. This... Did we already talk about Better Devils? Yes, we did, because there's one up here. So this is similar to my Nameless Midnight situation. This one is newer than this one. Um, so I definitely don't need the old one. Locked, though it might be. Pretty, though the paint job might be. By the way, when I talk about the paint job, there are these things in Destiny called shaders. Um, in Destiny 1, a shader 
would dye your whole self and you could you know you would you would change the color of your armor might want to sort by name that's a good point um rarity quantity is there a sort by name no one's a civilian anymore not with the red legion out there quantity actually would sort of get the job done wouldn't it <laughs> so here are my shaders speaking of uh sorting by quantity so in Destiny 1, one shader was uh, would, would dye your whole armor set. Sort of like, you know, here's what I would look like with this thing. Um, and they were reusable. That's the other thing, right? You could just apply shaders wherever. In Destiny 2, neither of those things are true. So to get the look that I was just looking at right there, I would need uh, how many how many shaders? I would need, you know, one for... Not that gun, because that gun's an exotic and you can't use them on those. But I would need a shader for the helmet, a shader for the gloves, a shader for the body, a shader for the feet, a shader for my, my bond, my little thing on my arm. Um, so, uh... To what degree we can get rid of these <laughs> is going to be complicated, actually. Because on the one hand, I have a lot of them, and I use very few of them. But again, on the other hand, they're a resource that if I find a piece of armor that, that really would look good in that purple and gold. Yeah. Yeah. All right, more advice from Lucio. Lucio says exotics are the easiest to start with. You can remake them from your inventory. If you miss it, uh, anything below your light level, you don't even have to think about it. Um, Yeah, that's true, especially if they're duplicates. Isn't it true, though, uh, Lucio, isn't it true, chat, that... The, the first exotic you get has a different role than if you you reacquire it from your inventory or, or get it some other way. Because that has been my paranoia that has made me, forced me, forced me against my will to keep all these, uh, these, these, these G-Dern exotics. Um, but you're right about duplicates. There's no reason to have duplicate exotics. But also, we're already breaking the Marie Kondo strategy here, because I should finish with Legendaries, which is probably the biggest category, since we've begun it. Um, yeah, okay, so there's no there's no way to make this quite as logical as I'd like it to be. Oh, Exotic Weapon, says Luz. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll come back. We'll come back. Um, okay. Better Devils. So, what's Time Payload again? Time Payload means, oh, you, like, attach a thing to someone, and then it explodes a second later. Exotic weapons are curated. That makes that makes sense. That makes sense. So I like that better devils, and I have fond memories of it. So I'm hanging on to it. That's hard truths, however. You're out. Talons of the Eagle. This is another event weapon. This is from the Iron Banner, and I've literally never used it. So goodbye. Uh, that's another Talons of the Eagle. Bite of the Fox. This I think is from the most recent Iron Banner, if the light level tells me so. Super cool looking. Overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reloading. How often do you get rapid kills with a sniper rifle? I guess in, in PvE when you're fighting monsters sometimes. Um. Oh, another bite of the fox. This one has... Well, crouched. I never remember to crouch while firing, so that's definitely out of my life. Um. Yeah, they're both out of my life. Goodbye. What's this thing? Oh, it's Black Armory. I haven't done any of the Black Armory stuff. Um, I really did not find it fun at all. So thanks for nothing, shotgun. Uh, this, I think, is another recent-ish acquisition. Uh, what's, what's its deal? Its deal is that it's, uh, it's done in my life. Uh, the inaugural address. Now, this thing I used, uh, again, I was gonna say a fair bit, apparently 42 times. Um, this is from the, the raid, um, the soup, the, what was once the super high level activity. Um, that could be a sentimental keep, potentially. We're doing pretty good on not keeping too much, so I don't care about you. The morning comes, that's a good name. That's cool looking, too. It's just so gold and cool looking. But am I ever going to just take it out and look at it? I feel like that's what the internet's for. So... Yeah, okay, bye. Uriel's Gift. Oh, this is a gun we've had good times with. Easy enough to reacquire, though. Um, yeah, bye. That's another one of those. 
Dead man walking. Sidearm. Um. And the last hope. Nah, that's fine. We've had our good times. We're moving on. Another submachine gun. Red Mamba. This was fun, actually. I do remember using this. I don't think I have a way to see how much I used it. Unless it's a masterwork. And indeed, even with the masterworks, I can only see how much I used it after it became a masterwork. So that sort of begs the question to a certain degree. You know, sometimes I, I went through the process of making it a masterwork and then I was done. Um, anyway, all that to say, Red Mamba, used you. Good times. Goodbye. The Foggy Notion. Nah, goodbye. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna laugh at Ian and not let you in on the joke unless you happen to be in chat. Um, so, so critical sass. Wait, hold on. We're skipping a few. Drang. This was from a long and uh, unpleasant quest, wasn't it? Okay. Ah, the Mita Mini Tool. Is this still used ever, or is it just the exotic that is matched with it that people use? Is there a benefit to having both? I'm not gonna do that, whatever. Um, okay. Critical Sass, it's a fusion rifle. It's an old fusion rifle, and it's gone. Last Perdition, eh. Retro Futurist, I remember using this a lot. Um, it's not hard to reacquire, I don't think. Um, but it is a little sentimental. I feel like I used the Gentleman Vagabond a bit. But I would have painted it if it really mattered. Timelines Vertex. It's, all going into the wrong Take a look. it's hideous. And I don't remember using it, so goodbye. Stochastic Variable. See previous comments. Okay, uh, this is another one of those faction things. I'm not going to be seduced by a subdued paint job. See previous comments. See previous comments. See previous... Well, this one I remember enjoying, actually. You shall go in the maybe pile. Uh, you don't warrant that, however. Wanna be, be a persuader. Goodbye. Goodbye. No calamity. Goodbye. 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 So these, I think, we're getting into some weapons from the Mercury stuff. You had to, like, go through an enormous quantity of bullshit <laughs> in order to forge these. Um, that doesn't make them worth having, though. <laughs> this, is, this is what is sometimes derisively called the Ikea effect in some corners of the psychological manipulation sphere, where... Uh, you can have a disproportionate attachment to something based on the effort that it took you to acquire it or get it set up. Um, I might be hitting me hard with these. I think I, they're going to notice they're probably all locked. They are really cool looking. Oh, this isn't even one of them, is it? You're out, Knox. Um, eulogy, you're easy. You're gone. We're going to run into more of those mercury weapons, though. Belfry Bounty, goodbye. Well, we ran into the Telesto, and this is an exotic, and I have two of it, and one is lower light level. So it's, I guess, as simple as that, isn't it? It's really making me prove that I mean it. Okay, there we go. Nature of the Beast. Ugh. You're a crime against fashion. Um, okay. 18 Kelvins. That name sounds familiar. It's cool looking. But again, the internet can handle that. This thing, I think, was part of a big quest. 
that I'm having a hard time remembering because all the stuff on Mars was pretty bad. I know, shots fired. Um, so this one is an interesting case because it's possible I never finished all the stuff that one can do with it. There may actually be like special things that need to be done with this specific weapon or at least with some, like something from this series. Um, what is box breathing? In a zone for a short period without firing, grants bonus rage and precision damage that resets after firing or exiting Zoom. That's pretty neat. Hmm, we're keeping the hand cannon, but not the thing. Okay, Trust is another Gambit weapon. I've actually been using a Trust just recently, I think. Snapshot sight's an explosive payload. These other ones have Dragonfly, which... Explosion's always good. Rapid precision has real speed. I want both kinds of explosions. I think I feel like Lucio has one that has dragonfly and explosive payload. That's that's what I want. That's the spicy meatball. Yeah, the one I have is fine. Not perfect, but fine. So what am I keeping these other ones for? For neuroses, that's what. Distant relation I don't think I care. Oh, it's locked. I cared at some point. That's interesting. Why might I have cared? Just adjusting my seating arrangement here. I'm, I'm struggling to figure out why this was uh, so important. So goodbye. Thanks for the good times. That's a lot of vouchsafe. A lot of Twilight Oath. Wow, a lot of retold tale. So this is definitely me not knowing what the god roll was for these other Dreaming City weapons and just keeping every one I found. Um, if you're still there, Luce, what is the god roll for the retold, to retold tale? Or, is, or does it even matter anymore? Am I living in the past? I might be living in the past. Snapshot, sights, and quick draw sure seem like what you'd want from a shotgun. So maybe I'll hang on to that one and get rid of the others. The thin line, goodbye. Oh, I skipped by these, didn't I? I'm just gonna get rid of them. This is starting to feel way good. This Twilight Oath. I think it's objectively not that good, but I do have a lot of good memories with this exact one. The sniper rifle that makes things explode when you... when you. It's just... I like explosions, man. Um, This is another retold tale. This is the same one we were just talking about. Um, the right side of wrong. Eh. Arsenic Bite. This is a cool bow. Um, explosive head, explosive head, rampage, what is rampage? Yeah, that's cool. Lego lost that thing. So this, this is a perk. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the reactions, Ian. They're making me smile. Um, rampage is a, is, um, a perk that basically lets you use a, a bow. There are bows in this game, even though it's a sci-fi thing, which is kind of fun. Uh, like your Legolas in the Lord of the Rings movies, just firing them unreasonably quickly and doing a lot of damage with them. It's fun. Um, hip fire grip. Who fires a bow from the hip? I wasn't even sure you could do that. So, goodbye. Uh, Vestian Dynasty. This is This is objectively a cool gun. I mean, <laughs> I'm abusing the word objectively. It's subjectively a cool gun. Um, we'll come back to you. A different Vestian Dynasty with Kill Clip and Dragonfly. They both have Kill Clip and Dragonfly. 
So I sure as shootin' don't need both. Subtle Calamity, different bow. Um, I think if I have the Arsenic Bite, this is just a waste of... pixels. The Misfit, I get you all the time, goodbye. Got my mod back, that's great. This one's locked, but I, I see now that that was a mistake. See previous comment. The Badlander, there's a shotgun. <laughs> Translation theory, sidearm. Um, no, that's fine. Thanks for the good times. I don't think I give a damn on this bad reputation. Okay. The last dance, we're always going to get more boo. <laughs> I deserve that boo. Uh, the last dance, the last dance. Starting to be like, which dance is the last? Anonymous Autumn. Ugh. Um, no. Fate Cries Foul. Eh. Eh. What is this fusion rifle? Things are supposed to last for ten years. It's got a kill clip and hip fire grip. I don't know that I fire from the hip that much unless I have a highly specific reason to do so. Um Claws of the Wolf. This is another one of those iron banner things that I always think look so cool and then never use. Thank you, goodbye. Um see previous comments. Breath of the Dragon. That is especially cool as far as names, because who doesn't love dragons? But you know what? There's always Iron Banner, and I never use this stuff. Um, the Iron Banner Grenade Launcher, I do remember being fun. If I'm going to keep one thing, maybe it's that. The Wizened Rebuke. Does a neural network name these? Bungie would never own up to that fact if it were true, but I just, I, I have a, I have a hunch. Hmm. That sounds fun on paper, but am I going to use it? No, I'm not. All right. This is another one of those uh, uh, weapons that definitely was involved in some kind of quest. So we'll keep one, in case I ever feel like going back and doing more. Well, let's... But this is... So this is a good point, isn't it? Am I ever going to feel like going back to do the Mars stuff? Like... <laughs> I really didn't enjoy the Mars stuff, for the most part. So I feel like, most of all, saying goodbye to those mission items might be valuable. So... Yeah, I've come around. Goodbye. Thanks for all the bad times. Goodbye. Thanks for all the bad times. Okay. Let go of the day's fury. Now, Quick Fang. The Quick Fang is a very interesting case. Um, there are swords in this game, as, as there are bows. The Quick Fang is uh, possibly the best sword in the game. Um... Neural network magic cards, but destiny items and lore. That's a really good idea. I almost feel bad that I said that out loud and like that we didn't just pass that as a note in class and make it our next big idea. So so there there are swords in the game. Um, and there is a sword that can only be used by the Titan class, which is called the Crown Splitter, which I have here. And there's a sword that can only be used by the Hunter class called the Quick Fang. That's right here. Um, I am neither... A hunter nor a titan. Uh, I am a warlock. I am the other one of the three you can be. Um, and I used to, you know, like back when Destiny was a dad MMO, I had three characters. I maintained three characters. I enjoyed doing so. But but they have since, as I've been alluding to, turned up the grind. Um, and, then, you know, that's what the people who play it the most and pay for stuff the most want. So there's there's business wisdom or, or bisdom, if you will, in that. But it means that there's no conceivable future foreseeable uh, at the moment in which I would keep up three characters. So why would I keep stuff for a class other than the one I'm actually playing? Um, 
because they're cool. If this were Breath of the Wild and I could put stuff up on my wall, the Quick Fang and the Crown Splitter would likely be up there. Um, but I don't know that I need Eternity's Edge because even though it's well, but they're they're a match set. The three of these may need to come back to those swords. I've used swords a lot in this game, and I find them really fun. There were really good swords in the first Destiny, too, and I, oh boy, was it a pain to get the exotic one, but I don't know. The swords do have good memories attached. One could argue that joy is being sparked when I look at them, so we'll come back. The tarantula, however, ew, get away from me. Don't need ya. Um, this one I masterworked, and I'm still, I have no hesitation. See, great example here. I masterworked it, and then never defeated a single enemy after that with it. Um... So, you know, will I weep? Um, the Hoose Cow. Good times, but we're done. Um, don't remember this rocket launcher. It's funny looking. <laughs> Ian says this is why he never masterworked anything. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know that it's slowing me down too much. All is dust, if not already, then shortly. Blue shift, your dust. The blue shift, what I just say. Beringer's memory. Beringer's? Beringer's. Beringer's memory. You're gone. Uh, here's another duplicate exotic situation. The prospector is kind of a old timey Gabby Hayes grenade launcher. Um, sure is, uh, sure don't need to. Slow bar. Um, the tr so the tractor cannon. <laughs> is a ludicrous weapon that sends uh, uh, enemies, including other players, just flying. It's really fun, and I will use it at some point. But anyway, we said we were coming back to exotics, so that's that's not even a concern yet. Play the game. Grenade launcher that I had fun with, but I'm never going to use again. Honor's Edge. Um, I mean, if I'm keeping those other three swords, that's probably good. This is another one of those... Um, faction weapons that I don't know that I'll ever have a chance to necessarily get again. Um, does it is it randomized? Can I just reacquire it for my collection? I don't know that I care. Goodbye. We had a good time there, Honor's Edge. Um, another rocket launcher. The classical. So this one I masterworked, and I used this a fair bit. Um, I do have fond memories using this thing. Um, so I don't need the backup one. That's silly. Um, I also don't need this... Doofy Zephyr Sword, I don't think. Where'd I get it? Will it ever pass this way again? Maybe not, but uh, we shared this moment. The Colony, super fun. We'll come back to exotics. Tiebreaker, don't care. Guten Bye. Uh, Double-edged answer. It's a very cute name. It looks pretty similar to the faction one we just got rid of, but just less good. Um, all is dust. Bad omens. What's this? Oh, it's the uh, Gambit branded rocket launcher. I'm gonna sip this gin. Consider this. Um, nah, goodbye. That's... We already made this choice. Sleepless. This is from the Dreaming City. It's purdy. It moves as though the top of the gun is the bottom of a swimming pool. But, uh, I think we're good. I think we had our time with it. Now, this is a sword called Abide the Return. Um, I think if we back out to my character, you'll see that I actually have this on my person. Not just on my person, but like out as the weapon I display. I can cycle through my different weapons as to which one gets shown. This is the one I have out, both because I'm, I'm all golded up for the summer event. But also just because I, I, I love this sword. This sword definitely sparks joy. One of the things that's happened as Destiny has gotten grindier is also there have started to be just sort of more HP soak enemies. Enemies that take a million billion hits to take down. Um, and, you know, I empty one clip from one gun into an enemy, and the enemy's still standing there, and I just get really sad inside. This sword has this really cool thing um, called 
Yeah, quick attacks immediately after swapping to the sword do additional damage. So I whip out the sword and just whoop ha whoop ha. Um, it's just good. Um, <laughs> consecutive hits do a lot of damage. Um, it generates ammo for itself, so I can just keep swinging. Uh, I have it specced for bosses, so I can just like wail on a big guy. Um, and I think this is another one of those things where I had been paranoid about whether the one I was using was a god roll. So I kept a bunch of others. Um, did we skip some stuff? No, there we go. So we got these other Abide the Returns. So actually, does my other one not have the consecutive strike thing? Because I feel like consecutive strikes do pretty good. That's interesting. So that I could conceivably play with at some point, because if there's a if there's a world where consecutive attacks do even better with this sword, it's a world I want to live in. Um But I don't need this one, that's for sure. Alright. Through fire and flood. Nope. Outrageous fortune. I sling you. I arrow you. Steel Sybil, a lesser sword. It was once my favorite sword. We've had our times together. They were good times. They have ended. Play the game. I feel like we talked about you already. Crooked Fang. This is a fusion rifle that's supposed to be just very on meta. Uh, it's supposed to be just good. Um, I see it used a lot by players who are better at this game than me, but I've never enjoyed it that much, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. All 10,000 of it. Don't care about this. Oops. Swarm of the Raven. That really sounds like it was generated by a neural network. It's more Iron Banner stuff. I've been seduced by your sheen and your polish for the last time. The Roar of the Bear. I almost called it the Roar of the Boar because I wanted it to rhyme. This... This is an Iron Banner weapon I've actually used a fair bit. What is the tracking module? Do it make some makes it home home in? Yeah, I mean that seems like the one. Forget these other ones. <laughs> Roar of the thirty to fifty wild boar. Indeed. Credit I should credit Ian for all these jokes. I'm just reading them and laughing at them sometime. But Ian Ian is bringing the funny. I am just bringing the zen. Uh, avalanche, don't care. What did I just say? What is the Shining Sphere? I don't remember this gun at all. It's kind of cool looking. But again, cool looking is not reason enough to keep a virtual good that I can look up a picture of anytime. Um, oh, this Major Tom ass helmet. I think is super common and easy to reacquire, right? Well, we're officially in armor. Hold on, let's let's take a moment to take stock. Um, is that true? Have we gotten through weapons? I think I think we by golly have. Okay. Um, so let's go back to what we thought of as maybes, and we'll put a put a put a lid on this. Um, the Antiope D. I said that I had some fond memories with, um, and I and I you know what I did. Hawthorne's Field Forge Shotgun. It isn't about memories. It's about once upon a time I heard it was the meta. Who cares? The True Prophecy. Yeah, good times. Song of Justice. Oh, this is like the scout rifle that's almost a sniper rifle. Yeah, that's cool. If if there's some way to make it viable in the almighty meta, I might use that again at some point. The Frigid Jackal, though, I, yeah, the name is cool, but whatever. Better Devils, yeah, okay. Retro Futurist, we had good times, but you can go. This thing I really had a lot of fun with, and I'm going to smile if I look at it. Now that it's not buried under a mountain of actual garbage... Soul Pariah. Is this... I, we haven't actually seen any others of these. These, like, crazy Mercury weapons. So maybe that's the Soul representative, and I'm cool with that. Twilight Oath. Memories, like we said. Retold Tale. Final Keep 1. Arsenic Bite. Same deal. Vestian Dynasty? Why'd we keep this? The fact that I said, why did we keep this, means I can get rid of it. Um... We thought about this grenade launcher. 
Yeah, that's okay. Okay. We've paired this way the heck down. I said two rows, and we're about there if you take out all these exotics. So, okay. Um, I'm seeing armor, so let's go for some legendary armor. So this Major Tom ass helmet, as I was saying, is really cool, but I think really easy to reacquire if I really want it. This is another thing in the Marie Kondo book, by the way, that like, if you have hoarding tenden tendencies of any kind, I, this is something that um, I picked up from my family for sure. I don't, I don't think anybody from the from my family is watching, um, at least not in real time. But you know, my my mom will keep like months and months of canned goods on hand because what if something happens and you know something could happen but um you know short of society actually collapsing you can probably get more of the thing that you've been stockpiling you can just go to the store and get another one so it just you, you know knowing that to know that to know that you can get another one if you need it and you don't need to hoard is to become a little more at peace with the world it's actually like a really profound thing to let go of <laughs> Uh, so as such, I'm gonna ditch the Lost Pacific helmet. I'm not- I'm not gonna let myself off the hook here, by the way. I will buy, um, like, almond milk, deodorant, um, I'll I have so many deodorants right now, because I, like, I'm- I- I don't want to run out. Um, I used to do it with toilet paper, too, like, it's, you know, because, like, it is unpleasant to be out of toilet paper, but, like, it's- it's not gonna mess with your life to only have, you know, five rolls on hand or something. Um, I've gotten way better with this stuff, and it's made me feel better about life. Here's more of that Iron Banner shit. Now, the Iron Banner... Hey, Lucio's back. Welcome back. Um... This is dang cool looking. Dang diggity doggone cool looking. This kind of space samurai stuff. Lucio's back in pog form. Um, your call, Luce. Do you want to, Lucy was asking if I want him to call in, quote unquote. Um, I I could patch you in just through like in-game chat, probably, if you want to like hang out with my avatar. Um, it, this is fine too, though. Just being in the the Twitch chat. I think when it's one voice, that ups the ASMR potential a little bit. Skit, 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 skit. We're just going to have a nice, relaxing time. Divest ourselves of virtual possessions. I think we're over the Sovereign Hood. Goodbye. This Kairos function thing, which is from the uh, Mercury missions, is so cool. There was this run of like quasi-Afro-futurist looking stuff that I really, really enjoyed. This one was my favorite. Um, this, I don't know. There's the, the the finish is cool. The shape is like Janelle Monet in my head or Sun Ra or something. Um, I'll hang on to those two. That's that's okay. This again is something I really like the look of the kind of pin cushion thing, um, but it's super easy to reacquire. So, whatever. Ian tells me that Kairos is the Greek word for an instant in time during which an action must be taken. That's super cool. You join my fire team, Luce. So you may need to turn on in-game chat. We're going to take a break and see if we can hook up with Luce. I didn't mean to sit with Trash Mouse, but that's cool. We can welcome Trash Mouse to the fold. This is really good gen, by the way, while we're seeing if Lucio can get his uh, sound stuff hooked up. It's called Dingle. Um, it's Irish, of all things. I, uh... Got to hang out at the Dingle Bar in Dublin and drank a lot of good whiskey there. Uh, their whiskey's good, but they're actually known for being one of the very few really good Irish gins. So I brought some home, and it's 
Crazy good. I'm drinking it neat like a psycho. Um, so I for sure don't hear loose yet. I could probably patch you in by Discord too. That would be an option. Maybe I just can't hear you because you're not, like, high enough in the mix. Hang on. The schematics for this structure do not fill me with renewed confidence. Consider this intermission, stream. I think my voice chat's on. Can you hear me through the game? The world's changing. He can, okay. You must prepare and adapt. You're looking wonderful. Did your mask? You know what I bet's bigger? happening? I bet you're on, and I bet just like the game is turned down, so let's see if we can not blow people's ears out with destiny, but... Say something? Be triumphant. We expect nothing less. Still no? Yeah, I don't know why I can't hear you. Let's double check my settings. Uh, voice chat on. Push to talk off. Say some stuff. Um, you know what I can probably do is just patch in a Discord call if, uh, actually if both of you won't feel like getting on Discord, um... How's that sound? Okay, is the game audio now super loud, by the way? You are a hero to us all. Okay, cool. Just a moment. I missed you all so much. I'm gonna guess my Discord has to update. <laughs> Downloading update. What of what? Messing with some stream settings. Bear with me. Any and don't feel pressured, by the way. You don't have to get on if you don't feel like it. You're still at the office, right? Right, you're in the past. Wait a minute, it's 7 p.m. there. Probably a good time to plug the Tech Workers Coalition. Oh, 
figure out what less stupid way people younger than us do this for the future. But for now, this is working. Okay, so Ian answered the question directly and said, yeah, instead of his usual uh, sarcasm. Or emoji. Which is helpful. So now you think you know how you solved this. I definitely know how I solved it. I just solved it in the dumbest way possible. So we'll come up with a better solution for the future, but this will get us through the condo stream. Incidentally, I'm realizing I have 452 out of 500 on my own profile. Oh boy. <laughs> Sequel. Um, next time on Game Grumps. <laughs> that was probably copyrighted, wasn't it? Anyway, um, oh, so shoot. Oh, damn it, fair use police. I don't want to be the one who tells the executive about it. Cool. Vigil of Heroes, about as common as uh, as dirt. Is that Recovery. a... It just depends if you like using bows a lot, I guess. Do you like so bows what's a your, lot? What's your metric? Are you actually considering, like, quote-unquote, the meta, things you like, or just whether or not you have used these uh, armor sets, like, that you can remember? Um. So for, for older stuff, it is really just, like, fond memories. Like, I'm not going to use the anti-OPD again, but I'm like, oh, yeah, the anti-OPD. It'll make me smile. Um, the meta, I mean, I, do I care about the meta? I don't know. I care about stuff that I'm going to use if, you know, <laughs> and if and when we play Destiny again in the future. So if it's yeah. going to, like, actually make me smile to scroll through my inventory and look at it, I'll keep it. And if I'm actually going to use it, I'll keep it. On or off meta, I'm not going to hang on to it unless I'm actually going to use it. So, like, I have another Vigil of Heroes that appears to be damn near identical. Oh, I see. There's no conceivable reason I need both. Such. I do fairly well. These are interesting. These Eververse armor pieces. You reacquire these? You can. It costs Bright Dust. Oh, interesting. I don't know if that really matters or not. Of these, so do I get bright, bright dust for disassembling them? Yeah, so if I'm not going to actually use them, then it sure does make sense to... Uh... Well, especially because uh, everything will stop disassembling into bright dust after the next season, I believe. Uh, interesting, interesting. What do you think this machine does? Because video game economy! <laughs> Imagine Marie Kondo, says Ian, holding the Ace of Spades to your head, demanding to know. If it sparks joy, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I should have drawn that for this. So Lauren tends to be the fashion police. She's here in the room with me. Are we ever going to wear this weird dragonfly helmet? This is bad. I don't want to be the one who tells the executor about this. Oh, it looks. Oh, you hate horseshoe crabs. You find them upsetting, but I love it because it looks like horseshoe crab. I'm keeping it because it elicits a reaction. <laughs> It sparks joy. Um, oh, this is this is a fun one. I'll admit we can all agree that it is very funny to call someone a globe head. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I might I might gonna keep the globe head. Oh, these are all these Halloween masks. Um, yeah, I would keep those honestly because I don't. I mean, they might bring that back, but if they didn't, it's just fun to wear once in a while. They are honestly really goofy. I mean, like, there's no possibility I'm gonna get rid of the chicken. Yeah, that's that's the best one. Oh. Dern, you want to talk about sparking joy? <laughs> it sparks some serious joy. In fact, yoink. Oh, Iron Fellowship hood. I didn't actually mean to take. I meant to simply do this. I gotta put on my helmet. Uh, where is that even? It's like gameplay. No? Under gameplay, yeah. It's all going into yep. Helmet on. Third from the top. Yeah. Here, I'll do you one better. Yes. <laughs> this is the tidying stream, right here. <laughs> of course, now I have to change my dance. <laughs> you do. You do legally have to change your dance. If I can find it. I have 
a lot of emotes. Yeah. For the stream, I'll show you what he's talking about. So you can uh, assign... I don't know who the hell I think is watching this who doesn't know at least a little bit about Destiny, but you can assign these little motions to yourself. The chicken head. Across the board. Ready? Bring it back online. <laughs> I have a surprise for you when you exit your menu. <laughs> yes! My god. Have you ever seen a chicken? <laughs> Alright. Alright, enough frivolity. To the task at hand. The task at hand. 328. Oh, so is the goal like... to have zero in here, or the goal no. is to just... No, 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 no. Okay. Somebody I, didn't hear I, the I beginning dug, of the stream. I ducked in um, and out at the beginning, yes. <laughs> no worries. So the goal, the goal is not to have zero. The goal is to get rid of everything that I'm not going to use or that doesn't make me happy to have. On inventory zero, the goal is not, like, like Marie Kondo didn't say, you don't get to own books. That isn't what happened. Um, the goal is just that anything that I have that is in some way burdening me to have or simply not doing me any good, make a little bit of art on Twitch out of getting rid of rather than just keeping it around because... Got it. What the I mean, hell is the case, Iron Fellowship hood? <laughs> that is from uh, Iron Banner as well. Yeah. For nah. A while, for a while, they were only offering um, different skins for the pre-existing sets of armor, and then they mm. updated it to actually have different pieces of armor. But I think they only yeah. did that twice, I want to say. They I uh, Rope hands McGee. That's fine. I can let go of that. He's... Kind of making me sleepy. <laughs> so anything like that, for example, that where you don't have um, any rolls, like it's from year one, it's just get rid of it. Because you can, if you really missed it for whatever reason, you can just pull it from your um, collection. Point. Because yeah, anything somebody. without a roll will always get pulled out the same. Like all the year one stuff doesn't have those uh, random rolls, so you can always yeah. get the exact same piece of armor again if you just really liked the aesthetic. The ultimate example of that, like, you know, the store is going to have more peanut butter, right? Like, I don't want to be the one who tells the executor about this. That's true of wraps of the Fulminator, because these I wore these a lot. I master worked them. Uh, yes. In fact, you can even see there that your uh, mod has, I think the word is called deprecated or like... Oh, sure. So it doesn't even have that anymore. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, the only reason to not get rid of it is if it's masterwork, but, um, I, I mean, if you're never going to wear it again, <laughs> then yeah, you get, you get an enhancement core back and... All right. Sovereign Gloves, later. Dinos Veil, later. Yeah, I remember the first time I did this, that actually figuring that out made it really easy because I realized, oh yeah, all that armor I got in year one, I could pull any time I was missing it. That is, that is very helpful. We should tell Ben that. We have a friend who is a much worse hoarder than I am, which is a weird thing for the guy with a completely full inventory to say, but I assure you it's true. <laughs> um, yeah, he keeps sides, actually. <laughs> like, yeah, everything? Yeah, just everything, everything. Yeah. And for you, I imagine this process is a little easier. The reason I need to get around to doing this again is because I actually do take a lot of the roles into consideration. Because I'm not a try hard, try hard, try hard, but I am a try hard, try hard. <laughs> You're invested in the meta. You 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 care a little bit about being uh, try hard. I you care about being able to hang with the boys who are competitive. I care about the stuff that where you can see the noticeable difference, you know, like mm. certain mods, especially like uh, the most like the most noticeable ones, for example, in Crucible setting would be the scavenger mods. Um, so, you know, if you have any scavenger mods, but you also like using, let's say, shotguns, um, that's one of the most useful ones for Crucible because, you know, enemies drop bricks and the scavenger mod allows you to get like one extra piece of ammo. Um, so that like, let's say you start with your shotgun, two shots and you pick up a special ammo brick, then you get, I think one or two shots back. But if you have the scavenger, you can get, uh, up to four or even, you know, or three. So it's just kind of a fun way to, you know, keep yeah, yeah. using your fun tools. All right. I'm sorry. 
Um, ancient apocalypse robes. Why did I keep these? Goodbye. Maybe the rolls. <laughs> we can see how much use I've gotten out of them since then. <laughs> Reverie Dawn Tavern. These, there are some things in the Dreaming City where you need this whole set, right? Uh, yes. But, I mean, depending on how you feel about random rolls, it's not too hard to get because every week you can go do activities and get, Oops. you know, I, I do enjoy, rolls. actually, I, I relatively enjoy the Dreaming City stuff. So. I really like, that's actually one of my favorite sets. The only reason I uh, stopped wearing it as my primary set is because now we have these new fancy Solstice sets. Talking the uh, the Reverie Dawn or the Dragonfly Regalia? Oh, uh, Reverie Dawn, sorry. Not Dragonfly Regalia. Dragonfly cool. stuff's okay. I never right. used it myself. But you cannot, scavenger. you cannot roll the Dragonfly stuff. That's the only thing. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll hang on to that. Well, I don't, I mean, but I'm not doing duplicates. I'm not doing duplicates, man. <laughs> so pick the one you like and go with that. Ian says, inventory zero. That's that's what he wants to see. The people are out for blood. <laughs> I feel like that's not Marie Kondo, though. That would be like, uh, I don't know. I'm sure there's some sort of self-help specialist who's like, burn everything you own. <laughs> right, right. Join a commune for a year, and then rebuild. To love anything at all is a weakness. Zero. I do. Uh, well, how? What do you mean by inbox zero, Ian? Does inbox zero mean no emails? I think he means. Uh, Text oh, self concept. I wow. Well, I mean, I do keep. Um, I keep my inbox at zero unread on a daily basis, which which I know not everyone does. I try to. I don't delete everything, because you may want to search the archive later. I mainly keep receipts. Do you keep all my receipts? But I'll delete, like, uh, ads. Although I recently uh, unsubscribed from everything, too, because it was, it was getting a bit ridiculous. Yeah, for sure. I've been, yeah, whenever I want to just delete an ad, I, I take that extra two steps and unsubscribe. What is this set? Uh, inaugural Revelry. This was from the spring event this year. Hmm. It's pretty. I miss it. It is fun, I missed. and it is relatively up to date. We did a bit of it. It was that thing where it was like the infinite forest, but spring. Oh, I don't think I ever got a piece of armor for that. I could be mistaken, but that looks very unfamiliar to me. Oh, do I have two robes of Optimus Jesus's? the old school I have it in they have original recipe that's pretty funny and you, you got it masterworked I did I liked it a lot I wore it a ton I think just thought it looked cool maybe it's time to let go oh those I do remember those mine was a different color scheme that's why Back when I ran two when I ran more than uh, one character. Yeah, so you actually did a quicker but more extreme version of this, which is you got rid of a whole character. Is that right? Two whole characters. I had two alts. Yeah. God, man. See, I haven't had the the, the huevos, the cojones, to do that as yet. What was your alt? Um, I had a hunter. You I mean, liked I had... hunter enough to imagine going back to it one day? No, definitely not. <laughs> anymore. I mean, so like, because we, we, um, you, you didn't really play till it came out on PC, but I was playing on PS4 and I had, I had all three classes and I kept up with all three of them and it was super fun because back when it was full dad MMO, you could do that in a week. Yeah, with I cannot do that thing. now. There's no Lauren way. was doing a play and we were, where exactly were we? Where in, were we in Ohio? We were in Dayton, Ohio and they put us up in just like a like, like Lauren did a lot of shows on the road those couple of summers, and usually they would get us like a proper apartment. But in this case, they just put us up in a in a straight up hotel room um, for. It was a suite, right? Yeah, it was one of those hotel rooms that had like a bedroom and a living room and whatever. So I just I had my my PS4 hooked up to the hotel TV, and I wrangled the hotel to manage to play Destiny. I kind of remember this now. Yeah. 
And it was like, it, it was actually pretty good internet, but it would like, it would kick me off a couple times a day and like whatever. And in those days, yeah, I was, I was keeping up with three characters and it felt really good, but they just, Destiny has gradually become such that even keeping one character up to date starts to feel somewhat impossible. I would, I would agree yeah. with Ian, by the way, that two rubs of Optimacy is suboptimal. Maxi, I think that was an unintentional, but I like that. That's <laughs> a uh, Etow copyright, Optimaxi. It's when you're at maximum optimacy, which is, seems redundant, but I'm pretty sure in today's uh, buzzword world, we'll figure something out. Optimax seems like a Web 1.0 like company name. Even like a Tyrell Corporation, like sci-fi dystopia. Dot com. Optimax.com, custom software, application development, Microsoft partner. <laughs> Art imitating life. We help companies innovate, improve, and rise above the competition. Any idea is possible. Let us show you how. Some CompU Global Hyper Meganet stuff right there. Their phone number is not an 800, though. It's a 414, so I don't know if... 414? Where's that? Up to, I don't know. <laughs> it's a super Google. Oh, Wisconsin. 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 There's so much tech in Wisconsin. Because well, there's not much of anything else. No, son. Shots fired. I, look, man, I am not shitting on Wisconsin. I would, I'm just saying, they've, they, you know, they got the planes. They got the cheese in the planes. Is the Great Prairie is, is pretty prairie. prairie. Um, so I can get these bonds back whenever, too? Uh, oh, yeah. Most definitely. Let me see them. I mean, like I said, an easy go-to is just check if you ever installed a mod. Yeah, and if it it's uh, deprecated, then that tells you it's year one. There you go. This mod has been deprecated. Okay, well, then... Uh, with you. Into the sin bin. Into the sin bin with you. <laughs> Light level is also a good uh, quick indicator because 355, I think that was the max for year one, right? Um, I would need to look that up, but wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Optimax is Ian's new novelty math rock band. <laughs> novelty math rock. So it's math rock, but like the songs are funny. Funny or ironic? Smith. Um, Memory of Cade. This is pretty cool looking. That, so that's an interesting one because I don't know if you can pull it out of your collection. I think you can. But it definitely always rolls the same no matter what. Test case, actually. So, all right, hold on. so collections are more armoire that's so funny for me it says cannot reacquire randomized gear but i am telling you that i have gotten that item so many times and it has always been the same it's under open world last page it's open it's under open world makes sense not require we require randomized gear weird but every single one i've ever gotten always had the same rules so i don't know if they're messing with Thanks. me well, I'm going to hang on to it. One thing I will say about it is I don't believe that it has uh, optional mods or roles. So like, it, it is what it is kind of thing. Yeah, I think if you look at... Oh, no, I was incorrect. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Yeah, yeah, see? It's just stuck. That's why I'm saying I, I think I remember it just being the same every time. So if you like those particular perks, then, I mean, keep it. But if you have something that fills the space and you're not going to wear it anytime soon, then, you know... I think I'll hang on to it. I could see myself wearing it at some point. Is not so much. Goodbye, gentlemen. Those primary ammo finder. Right. So we're into ghost shells now. Um, so I, you know, again for anybody who's who's watching, uh, here's a ghost. Um, Should we let our ghost talk like Pokemon? Is there a way to make your ghost talk, just like on the floor? No, I've just pulled mine out in front of you. <laughs> you show me yours, I'll show you mine. <laughs> yep, there are little... I mean, there. I guess in lore, there are little 
immortal buddies. In the game, they just handle everything that you do, basically. Yeah, they're your they're your chaperone character. <laughs> they make sure you're not having too much fun. Um, or ghost. So guardians are immortal, so I can just like jump off here, and you know, I'm a video game character, so I come back. But that's actually justified in the world of Destiny, as like my ghost brings me back. So we're all kind of immortal. In which case, you're not. But there's some wiggle room there too. <laughs> uh, Destiny's weird. So anyway, you your ghost is always your ghost. Um, uh, Peter Dinklage in the first game. Too. Exactly. So he has shells. And some of them are really cool. Like mine right now is a ladybug, and it makes me happy inside. Um, and these also have perks. So one of the better perks is Guiding Light, which just gives you more experience, um, which is what I'm using. Uh, so the only really valid reasons to keep ghosts are for the perks and because you like the way they look. Specific to different places in the room for Jesus, says Ian. Um, because we were cuddling up, I think. Um, yeah, uh, a lot of the perks are very planet specific. They help you find stuff on individual planets. Where um, looking for planetary materials makes me want to uh, die, so I don't know that I'm going to worry too much about that. Um, and I'm just going to think about aesthetics. I would look so, for like, overlap. One of the things that they added with after year one was what's called a combo detector, because you used to actually have to roll whether or not you could detect um, mm -hmm. materials or uh, what's the other thing, chests. Yeah, so right here I have an EDC combo detector, a Titan yeah, combo detector. Yeah, so if you have any old ones that specify material versus um, chest, you could just get rid of those if you have one for, like, a location. Sure. With what's in my inventory first, I guess. Yeah, honestly, that middle one, unless you just like the way it looks, I have found the, uh, the um, weapon type analyzers to not be all that useful. Especially because so many of the exotic shells have omni telemetry. Mm. Like you're, talking about, you're talking about this one here, the arc shell. Yeah, arc and solar anal. I mean, I don't, I don't see any reason that you would need that. It just kind of looks like BB-8, like a little. Oh yeah, I mean, like I said, aesthetically, if it brings you joy. No, but from a utilitarian like, point like of view, you don't need it. But it's BB-8 crossed with um, Wheatley from Portal Two. <laughs> Oh, then I love it, and uh, I'm going to keep it. Then there's your answer to your joy. Exactly. Um, brilliant starfish shell. Is that from the current like summer thing? It's kind of cool looking. Uh, I think I have one of those. Maybe had one of those. Gee. I suppose so. This will work. Yeah. I'm not going to um, lie. I'm a monster, and I really only consider the utility of ghost shells. Munchkin, as they would Sometimes. say in school D&D. &D. <laughs> Which, uh, which sword do you take? Whichever one makes me stronger. <laughs> <laughs> um, this Taskmaster shell is kind of cool. I mean, so, and I, I love the kitty cat shell. That's that my, one is really delightful looking. What What is up with that? I don't. <laughs> it's from the Halloween event, and it's like a cardboard mask, like the ones that are like the chicken mask, but for your oh, ghost. So now oh, I see. <laughs> my ghost is a, is a pretty kitty calico. That's pretty cow. great. You know that I love her so. Um... Yeah, I mean, these are all kind of good. As we'll see in a moment, a lot of the ones from earlier in the game's life were pretty... So, yeah, I mean, that's my first ghost from when I started the game. I probably kept it for sentimental reasons. Dumb. Uh, uncommon. These are the greens I was telling you about. Don't need that. Dumb. Uh, kill tracker <laughs> ghost. This was, I think, like a pre-order thing, right? I need better uh, Track kills now. I don't know. I suppose so. It's, it's in hell now. Um, Avalon shell. Nope. Tower shell. What's a tower shell? A metallic. But you can make anything cool in metallic with shaders. <laughs> this is true. Um, yeah, weapon analyzer. Gone. Oh. Looking. So yeah, here's one. Okay. Cash and uh, materials. But if you have an IO combo detector, then it's, it's not necessary. It or I can just choose not to think about that, and uh, my life will get better. So, last city show. Again. Yeah, I think I think when I first played, I was convinced, and I don't know why. I just had this in my head sometime somehow. 
and I, I this was like really the first MMO I played, so it didn't come from any other precedent. But I really thought that if you held on to all of your original gear, there'd be some way later in which you'd like restore or repair it. And I was like half right with the Solstice events, but you just ended up getting them back, and it actually didn't affect your original set at all. So I, I don't know. It's really just more of an anecdote. Oh, it's fair. I mean, and it's it goes to this game being weird in its approach to loot, where you're supposed to be... It wants you to get attached to stuff. It wouldn't work if you didn't get attached to stuff, but it also... It's all garbage, and you have to... It has to be garbage, <laughs> or else why would you... What, like, it, like, you are collecting trash. The whole point... If it isn't trash, then the whole point is to find something else so that it will then be trash. Yeah. Ones that are not standard shape, I have a weakness for other ones are easy oh man i feel like when you get to i'm looking at your inventory right now i feel like when you get to those ships that's gonna be really easy yeah I good lord right. i honestly i really only kept uh my exotic ships and i'm gonna um, take a moment for this freaking disco ball disco forever <laughs> Woo! Oh, this love, love. okay um i do have one of those that's useful i kept <laughs> jesus that's big <laughs> In awe of the size of this lad. <laughs> Robot, <laughs> Robot Ian, Ian had a good uh, portal line, but I'm sorry I missed. Mind you that Android Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of non-compliance. <laughs> kind of gnarled tactical color theory thing is kind of cool. Blue Sky. Hello, Mr. Blue Sky. <laughs> yeah, these sort of like uh, sideways ghosts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Eh, this trusty shell's a little too trusty. I don't trust it. I mean, I feel like Not a shell all. that you trust doesn't need to be called trusty shell. Yeah, I know that's what an untrustworthy shell would say. May I say that sounds like something that my enemy would say. These are all lesser versions of the Wheatley Sitch. Quondam. This harvest. Eh. Lycan's Mire. It's all slimy. Eh, it's trying a little hard there. Absolute slime. The Seal of Troika. I can't even really put words to what I find delightful about it, but it delights me a bit. <laughs> have to be fun. I love the big chungi. What's the plural of chungus? The big ones make me smile. <laughs> this chunguses. One, yeah. I feel like chungus is definitely a funny word. Um, okay, so here's the thing about ships. Uh, they don't do much. They're basically what you see on your loading screen. You attach your little thing that makes you appear to them. Um... Uh, let's see what we got here. Amplitude. Probably get rid of that. Yeah, all the exotics have very, like, distinctive shapes, whereas those are... And, I mean, because you get so many of them, it just seems kind of like there's not as much of an... Um, yeah. Unless you really, really like the aesthetic of it. It's just, oh, good you, lord. <laughs> yeah. The Absolute broadcast unit. Oh, the broadcast... Exactly, in awe of the size of this lad. Eh, tuta Mishka, Java the Hut. Uh, whittled resolution. Wedded resolution. Whittled resolution would be better. Yeah, that is kind of boring. <laughs> you can see some of these um, exotic ones are pretty wild. This one that's like. And it has a shroud. I don't even. I have no understanding of how that's supposed to work, but it, it's huh. just. It's got a cape. <laughs> does your does your spaceship have a cape? <laughs> because mine does. Um, okay, so since we have those goofy things, we don't really need these hundreds of other ones. Oh, we technically have bikes first. So anything that isn't 160 speed is worthless um, and should be gotten rid of immediately. One, yes. Two, three, the Azure Azizil is exotic, but still pretty... Wasn't there like um like a like a gravity fuckery <laughs> racing game for the GameCube? 
Uh, I don't remember. But it had like a curated to keep it warm. I keep getting Ian's really good jokes. I'm gonna move this closer so I don't miss Ian's lovely, <laughs> lovely joke. Um, yeah, what was it called? I remember it had like a curated like um like track, and I remember there was a track by DJ Butterface. It's the funniest <laughs> thing of all time as a tween. I don't recall. All right, we're getting rid of this. Um, ghosts and boring and dumb. Um, cavalcade. Very similar to the previous one. Um, Scooty Puff Jr. This isn't going anywhere. Oh, yes. <laughs> All of the ones that are basically ripped off from Star Wars, I will be keeping. <laughs> <laughs> Betting heavily on Zabulba. Thick deception. You've got me going through my own inventory now. Discoveries. Anything exciting? Uh, I, I'm much more meticulous about this, as I said, for dumb reasons, but... We have, this would be a much right. longer stream with you. <laughs> yeah, and a lot more boring explanation. Defeated. I don't, oh, it spreads rose petals. That is kind of cute. Um, I love how ugly that is. I'm keeping it. <laughs> This is the other Star Wars one. This is like basically Ray's speeder, but in like a not copyright infringing way. We're keeping that. Curse of Foresight. Um, yeah, okay, fine. We can hang on to that too. Okay, um, these other ships, you know. I'm here. This one is kind of great. I was right to lock that. <laughs> Give myself from myself. It's Red Legion versus Red Jack. <laughs> 30 to 50 feral womp rats, <laughs> says Ian. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm going to out myself here. I only half caught wind of the 30 to 50 feral hogs thing. What exactly? How did it begin? Like, it was already, like, seven meme layers deep by the time I heard about it. I don't think I'm familiar with this at all. I mean, I, I'm the wrong person to explain it to you. <laughs> Long stories, is Ian. <laughs> I don't want to be the one who tells the exact so we, Ian and I like to say that uh, whenever we have to explain a uh, meme to my wife, that uh, we realize we have to go back about s at least, like, four layers worth of memes to really get to the heart of it. So I don't know if maybe it's a similar situation. Okay. There's that podcast. Um, she said this cycle has to come to an end before the new begins. They have this recurring segment called "Yes, Yes, No," where they explain some inexplicable internet thing to their boss, who's a little bit older than they are. Yes, yes, but usually, like, it sometimes becomes the whole episode <laughs> of just like explaining. And sometimes it's dark. I mean, like, there was one about PizzaGate or whatever, but just like to explain like what is happening in this tweet. Uh, it might be one of those. Or the actual like effects that happen when you appear. Um, I don't need nearly all of these. These kind of more generic, just effecty. Rural guy, says Ian. <laughs> I complained about how he was supposed to kill 30 to 50 feral hogs in the three to five minutes before his children go outside without an automatic rifle. Rifle. AR. I'm pretty sure that's that the acronym that. AR does just stand for automatic rifle. Call them not assault rifles. Never mind that an AR is useless against feral hogs. You need a huge hunting round. Yeah, everyone knows that. He was killing 30 to 50 feral hogs with a... Correct thing to do is build fences and lay traps. Well, and then they outsmart you, and you go to pig war. <laughs> that I might use. 
Yeah, that one totally is. Lanterns. Fine. I don't think I need them in four colors, though. Dang, purple. The difference here? Okay. Declare jihad on feral hogs, says Ian. <laughs> okay, so we're now at shaders. Um, to be honest, because I, I kind of like having so, them around to be able to make things colorful. So you can definitely make your own shaders if you need them. Uh, I would say consider, well, hmm. so one, you can get Glimmer for them, uh, if you give them to Master Rahul, um, I think you get, oh, you can get Bright Dust actually for them, if they're, uh, Eververse Shaders, I suppose. Um, I'm trying to think, like, what's, what's a good, I feel like I never use the common one. Sometimes the common ones have looked good in the past, but for the most part, they're not hard to get. And, um, I mean, do you ever actually use any of your common shaders? Uh, um, I mean, I haven't used a shader in a while anyway because I've been climbing the light ladder, you know? Yeah. So it's, you can't afford to look good. You have, you have business. And that definitely happens every season. <laughs> right, that's the thing, right? Like, they've, they've shot themselves in the foot. I mean, I have 119 Atlantis washes. <laughs> and I ask myself, why? I don't Each, oh my god, this 119 is one inventory slot. Yeah. Early gonna sit here and just Which tap this button. So that's what I'm saying. If you so if, pull, if you can pull the whole thing, you can sell them to Rahul five at a time. Which is still insane. It should be like a hundred at a time if you have a hundred. My actual inventory is pretty full of this garbage. You could swap one in and out and one out. What do you think this machine does? I can, yeah. I couldn't until we started tonight. Um, deep sea jaunt. Maybe. Yes, if you bring them to Rahul, it is called recycling. Makes me feel so conscious. Maybe they're all bright dust. Wait, they're definitely oh. not all bright dust because I've been disassembling some Atlantis wash and getting no, useless. No, I mean I'm saying glimmer. through Rahul because everyone I'm doing right now is giving me bright dust, and I didn't think these were all Eververse shaders. So now I'm kind let's, of curious. let's test with the Atlantis wash. What can I do for you, Warlock? I mean, that would be funny Eververse. if they just all happened to be. Eververse. Oh, no. Okay, now I got Glimmer. There we go. Yeah, you'd think it'd put it in some kind of sensical order. These are honestly really tough for me, because, like... I mean, will I need already, them later? You've already cleared half of your inventory. Like I said, if you if you think... That you would use any of those colors, then it's not a. In like, they don't pass the Marie Kondo test. They do not spark joy. They create anxiety. They make <laughs> me feel like, like life is a horrifying so, hall of mirrors. So if you're trying to be as faithful to Kondo, here's the other thing: to get rid of them, like you said, is you have to sit here and hit F how many times <laughs> to get rid yeah. of 100? And, so is that more anxiety-inducing or? Or is this the Zen that people tuned in for? Yeah, to just watch you do this. Let's, let's do Atlantis Wash. Let's wash. Do some ASMR. Waxing time. Zen are the wages of sin. <laughs> Enjoy the soft click of the DualShock button. If you can hear the crickets outside on this summer evening in Rhode Island. Yeah, okay, I'm starting to think this isn't that much fun to watch. 
<laughs> well, Why can't have, I just hold down the button? We have two viewers. So, uh, if Ian's I mean, that, it, that means it is currently you and Ian. It may, in fact, have been you and Ian the whole time. <laughs> no, no. Now, according to this, you've been viewed 35 times. I don't think there's anything like a method accounts for whether getting rid of it is such a horrible process that it's easier to keep it. I like I feel like that might be somewhat unique to digital objects. I would that actually agree a, with that. That I, didn't you know, feel good at all. That, <laughs> that felt you terrible. Know, I have a lot of music from the the old days of iPods and MP3 players and. Uh, I probably wouldn't listen to a lot of it, but for the effort to get rid of it versus how much space it would actually clear up, it's kind of just more worth it to keep it coming around. And I mean, honestly, you and I are both firm believers of, uh, you know, archiving that kind of stuff because some of that stuff isn't always the easiest to find again. Music, but, uh, I feel like, is different. I mean, I, certainly compared to this, I was speaking more generally about what you just said because there, good, there, totally, yeah. there, there is a, in, there's like an internal inventory system, but uh, there's also just you know our own stuff that we carry with us as well. Least earned seeing this page blank. Doesn't really matter because it's going to fill up again as we find these soon. But whatever, it's all going to be consolidated for a second. But it is nice not to have to think about it when you're just throwing stuff in there again. Okay. okay. Some of these less interesting projections. I can help you. Let's Yeah, you know, these days I keep sets of armor around, like I try to keep a two. And uh, the only reason is for something you said earlier. Sometimes quest chains, for whatever reason, will require you to uh, have a full set of something or other on hand. Yeah. The last couple seasons, I've just straight up not done any of that shit. And it yeah, felt was... really good not to do it. <laughs> I was going to say same, actually. but uh... I'm not, Hey, I'm not shaming you, man. Oh, I didn't think you were. I was just saying that, uh, but even so, it's one of those things that's... I'm just, saying uh, I'm not, but that's because I actually am, though. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> Unless that is your kink, you naughty, naughty boy. You know. <laughs> I don't need all these with me. Just... I will be right back. Kind of in the last mile here. Um, we haven't really talked about exotics or a few of the things I have on my person. Um, in exotics, are pretty so, much all things that as we're playing, I might so use at some point, right? But let's let's do this. So go to collections. Hold on, because I I'm not gonna. No, do it now. I'm gonna. I'm so angry. Okay, let's do it. Exotics? Yes. So we'll start with weapons, because that'll be an easy thing to just go through. Yeah, you're still bringing the zingers, man. I, I, sorry I'm not getting all <laughs> of them in real time. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye on that, actually. So, yeah, look at your at any of them. Your max level is what? 721? Cool. Go to every single one of your exotics, and any one of them that is lower than 721, just get rid of it. Okay. Because that means that you could pull that weapon at any time you want for those resources at the bottom, resources at the bottom, which you have plenty of, and it would be stronger than anything you have in your vault right now. The way you think. Sweet business, get rid of it. Right, Uckleberry, get rid of it. Vigilance wing. Later. Um, what do you call it? The even the tracking for the catalyst that carries over. 
It's a not when you pr pull it out, it's right where you left it. I knocked out my headphones because I was getting really comfortable to do this. <laughs> Colberry. Take a hike. Gross regime. It's been real. To God. Ace of Spades. See you later. You don't use that one, huh? That's um, personal I mean, I, favorite. Yeah, I use it. Lately, I'm just using the Lumina. Yeah, the Lumina is a very fun weapon. A lot of people shit on it, but a lot of people, I think, are more interested in um, the efficacy of the weapon, as it were, rather than the joy of it. Yeah. And uh, be, being a team player is really fun to me in these games. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish really there were more support fun. options. Yeah. I feel like a whole team of Lumina users would just be insane, but no one's going to... Kind of like how a lot of people didn't like the Rat King. And I'm sure mm. that it probably wasn't great, but if your whole team was using it, it probably... Especially after it got um, changed to be uh, auto-fire, I bet you could have had uh, a lot yeah. of fun with that gun. We had good times even with just, what, we have like three or four? Yeah. Man, look at all... See, I mean, that's the other thing. Again, using your light levels... When was the last time you used any of these weapons? In a minute. 330 Risk Runner. Now, who's shaming? Me. I am the one who shames. Oh, right, right, right. I am the one who shames. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, any of these you can just pull out later if you really want. And you're getting back some tasty... Uh, what are those called? Those purple shards. I forget. Legendary shards? Yeah, legendary shards. It's funny that legendary means worthless in this economy. <laughs> yes. Pennies. Um, okay, Celestial Nighthawk. So what's the deal with armor? Same deal? I can re-get it whenever? So, mm, no. This has changed a little bit. So, uh, any... If you go to your collections... You will I see that so under, rarely do. <laughs> uh, you'll see that underneath the armors, uh, you can actually pull any of them. But if you look, it has a set roll. So like, oh, I'm sorry, exotic. Go to your exotic armors. Yeah, yeah. That has its own section next to. I'm here. Exactly. So yeah, pick any one. Doesn't matter which one. Just and, and actually get one. Yeah. No, I mean, look at it. Just look at the details. I see. This will always be the same. Yeah. That right there will always be the same if you pull it from your collection. Whereas, you know, when you roll, when you acquire an exotic during activities, those are actually uh, going to have a chance to roll as something. So basically, and this is just kind of a matter of looking through, any year one exotics you have are going to be um, those set rolls for the most part. But these might actually affect whether or not, yeah, you want to keep something what do you think lord but also i mean like look there's your hunter's exotics are you ever going to use those again foe tracer and the uh yeah yeah oh yeah there's right in front Lucky Pants. So yeah, now if you look at your... Oh, Lucky Pants, yeah. Two, three. I always wanted that one to be cool. Yeah. Maybe if they had made like a I special... Mean, this is not that much... Cannon. This is not that much stuff to keep. No. And like I said, I mean, there's not really any reason to get rid of it unless it's just a year one thing. But they, yeah. I think most of yours in this case are going to be all different stuff. All right. That's a lot of shaders. <laughs> a lot of shaders. Um, this screen's less. <laughs> that's a lot of gunsmith materials. I've never seen a full oh, stack yeah. before. Um, I mean, I would just go spend those. I usually keep it below nine nine nine. Hold on, we're gonna have the a slot to throw away. Guardian. He's ready for some additional satisfaction. As far as I know, the only good roll you can get from this guy is uh, the Aaron Till. Just a fusion rifle. 
Oh, you got an air until. I think I've officially got gotten three air until. <laughs> wow, look at that. Yeah, you should see if you got a gun rolled. Also, Ian said you are just creating more work for yourself right now, <laughs> which is which is true. Video games are the boulder that Sisyphus chooses to push up the hill. Well, the other thing is, like I said, you can get legendary. I'm sorry, useless shards. Um, Garbage. Doing this? Garbards. All right, let's look at your air intels and see what you got. Turn this out real quick. Yeah, Probina, you don't need. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, Kirk of Fang, really? Uh, I mean, that was a good roll, but. There's other better shotguns too. No going back. All right, Aaron Till. Uh, garbage. Get rid of it. That okay. one is not an Aaron Till. Have auto loading holster and rampage. Yeah, no, thank you. Good night, sweet prince. Here we have auto loading holster and rangefinder. Oh. Yeah, basically, auto rolling holster is not. Hey. Impact reserve. Ooh, high impact reserves and dragonfly. Oh, this isn't the Aaron Till. Goodbye. I mean, it's a scout rival, but yeah, it's not great. And you have shaders in there for some reason, I guess. I think, I think some of the weapon. I was basically stripping the paint off some of the stuff I was disassembling. Yeah. <laughs> Ian said the door out of hell opened and you turned away. <laughs> <laughs> It's, this is kind of an intense. I, have you seen the new Philosophy Tube video? Have you watched Philosophy Tube? Period. I have not. Should I? Very, very good. Yeah, but his, his newest one is partly framed around no exit, you know, the Sartre play, oh, and yeah. the moment when uh, to leave hell and chooses not to. And uh, what a good, what a good use of relationships. <laughs> <laughs> I can get the Lord of Wolves back. Yeah, you can get all of that back. You can get Lord of Wolves and Trinity Eagle back at higher. If you want to spend the shards and glimmer and other useless uh, <laughs> commodities. Pretty nonsense. Use the vow all the time, and I will pump it up at some point. Trust is fun. Mob Justice. Oh, that's a really nice trust. Yeah, right? Snapshot and projectile. You've been enjoying it. Eh, Smob Justice can go, though. The last mile here. I'm assuring Lauren as much as anybody. Almost midnight. Uh, I mean... Crafting materials are potential. Inventory space. Says Ian. Quite the envious of your uh, little setup here. Your setup. Your uh, just that you have like less than half of your vault. Air and blood, man. of the ice and snow. Bonds. All these golden bonds. I'll leave some of the stuff that's in rotation because a lot of these I have because they're like high recovery and whatever. So I ladder and can actually wear things. 
Yeah, I'm wondering now. So one of the things I did is I saved a lot of weapons that had a uh, unique um, elements. So like mm -hmm. when the game first started, you could change the element of any given weapon. I don't know if you remember that. I do, yeah. Uh, and that actually stayed even after the update. So like, for example, if you go to your collection, you don't have to do this. I'm just explaining to you. That's fine. Know. You're, you're uh, talking about it. Visual aids. <laughs> So if you go to your uh, collection and you go to weapons and then you go to uh, submachine guns, one of my favorite weapons was the uh, Hero's Burden, which is uh, the middle row bottom. Oh, I, I thought it was. <laughs> submachine gun? Yeah, yours looks different than mine. That's interesting. There it is for some reason. Uh, well, there it is. There's yours. Yeah, you have more than me. That's interesting. Maybe you've earned more guns than I have. Um, so yeah, you can see now it rolls as void. Um, and in my vault, I have one that I masterworked because I liked it so much. That is, uh, solar. And I just can't bring myself to get rid of it because that's literally something I couldn't get back. Because yeah, that's the how they get the, you. Uh, yeah. Well, I may need a session. But would I ever use it again? I mean, that's, that's the thing. That right? is the right question, right? <laughs> I did like it, but it's not like I haven't used it since SMG stopped uh, being um, what do you call it? Uh, special <laughs> special weapons, special ammo weapons. For sure. When they changed that distinction across weapons instead of uh, across slots. All right, I think I may be hitting a wall. We may need to do another session to finish the tidying, but I think we uh, we did a lot here. I think, I think we grew really closer. Good. I'm going to have to read Ian's final zinger of the evening, which is a YouTube video title, Dismantling Shaders, 10 Hours, No Commentary. <laughs> Here's the thing. Most 10-hour uh, videos are loops. This, that would not be a loop. True. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, there's some 10-hour videos that aren't looped, I guess. But anyway, uh, thanks, dude. Thanks for coming. Uh, come next time as well. All right, yes, once more. Once more into the breach. <laughs> Perfect timing. This part is defective. This is not the crucible. Thank you for being a chicken. Thank you for being a chicken. Walking down this road and back again. <laughs> part is true. You're a pal. Well, thank you for joining the fun. Anybody watching this now or later, uh, hope the future is better than the present because the present's gotten a little wild. Um, flying. On our way. Dreams come true. Hope there's a chicken in every pot. <laughs> good night. Good night. And good luck.